welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 13 Grand Finals between Phoebus and Masucci. Upper right hand corner, we have Phoebus starting as the white Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we have Masucci starting as the yellow Zerg. And this is potentially the final match. As Phoebus has won every single engagement thus far. 3 0. I'm hoping Masucci can pull this out. Good Knight might play more towards his advantages because this is a larger map, which means it's going to be a little bit more challenging for Phoebus to mount aggressive, lengthy attacks. However, we saw Phoebus take earlier matches to the extreme where he just shelled up on three bases. Just, of course, that was against his uh, against the Protoss at one point being Masucci has his work cut out for him. Initial Overlord Scout is making its way to the bottom right-hand corner. Beyond this, if you want to check out Chobo League, Revolution Veer has actually casted all of it thus far. I'll try to make sure that as I'm doing the uploads, if you're missing it, you're like, oh, hey, what happened to that other, a couple of the other bracket games? Check out his channel. Both of us are going to be covering Fighting Spirit Mania after this, which is going to be a slew of replays. Check that out if you haven't. And that's just... I, I honestly... Uh, not sure if I want to recommend watching that or not. Overlord first build, by the way, from Masushi, just because it is... I mean, it's going to be punishing to cast, punishing to play. I'm wondering if it's going to be punishing to watch. Just because, but it'll separate the real fans from the not, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like we're having a barracks on the front door for Thebus. Started to seal things up. 12... Sorry, uh, yeah, no, 12 hatchery from Masuchi and starting to send out a drone scout himself. Thus far, I don't know what Masuchi can really execute against Thebus. Thebus just seems to... Maybe if he went for the four hatch... I don't even know. Like, maybe if he did kind of a shell lurker thing against Thebus, just played very, very defensively. Hold position lurkers all over the map. Just tried to frustrate him as much as possible. And do a really fast, strong macro behind a lot of... I don't know, whole position lurkers and zergling delight, something along those lines. Maybe moved more into Zeke style of play. He could pull it out. But I think just standard stuff, Phoebus just picks apart. He is scouting upper left hand corner first. Going a command center before Marine, knowing that Good Knight is more of a macro oriented map and just suspecting that Masuchi was in fact going to go for the 12th hatchery. Looks like we do have gas mining spawning pool on its way to morph. And I don't think there's even going to be a, drow a Drone Scout as it wanders up. What it is going to see is a Silent Barracks. So the Overlord should be able to get in position. But what it sees is a Barracks not blinking and a single Marine behind the lines. A Refinery being grabbed behind this for Thebus. So it is possible that Thebus... This is one of those maps that he could transition into mech if he wanted to. I have a feeling he is instead going to opt for maybe that safe two Barracks play. Zergling's chasing this down. It sees that layer morphing and ooh, might have an opportunity here. Let's get rid of that SCV. Able to micro around, but the Zergling's getting a good amount of damage and Thebus might get escorted out in the dark. Just barely. Let's see if we can get the, the health. Just 10 health left on that SCV scout. The Zergling's doing a good job. Zergling speed is morphing, but before Zergling speed even finishing... Uh, got it! So he is in the dark. Only three Marines on the front, and again, that barracks uh, continue to light up now. Looks like the Academy planting before Engineering Bay. And a second barracks being built, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be the Academy two barracks style. And I'm almost hoping that, uh, and there's the Spire morphing for Masuchi. I almost hope to see Masuchi attempt just a straight-up two-hatch mutilisk play, rather than going for the third, and just try to bully his way through this. I've seen that work for... A handful of other players. I don't know if Masuchi has the Mutalisk Micro to fully make that work, though. But something like that is going to be required against Thebus. Stimpak upgrading. Medic Marines on the front. The Zergling just testing that front door to see how many Marines are there. And this is, you know, pretty light complement thus far. Just five. Already getting that first Medic. It looks like Masuchi instead opting to go ahead and grab this 9 o'clock expansion. Spire about halfway finished. And he does have his second gas up and running. Would suggest he is moving potentially more towards three hatch hive play. Comsat station morphing. Second barracks is up. It's starting to build marines. 
We'll try to keep an eye. No engineering bay as of yet. Might want that sooner rather than later. And Masuchi building a fire bat. Usually that's something... Or sorry, Thebus building a fire bat. Usually that's something you see with some sort of rush or push. A bunker preventatively on the front door. So he is maybe thinking all in Zergling. The Zergling's actually looking to run by. One Zergling filters through to go ahead and get a scout. It's going to see the barracks in the air. Second barracks just building in a factory. So getting a huge amount of scouting information here. And I don't know what's with this build. Or is Thebus just throwing the third match just to give an opportunity? So he's starting to run out. This 9 o'clock hatchery might get sacrificed, but the full complement of Mutalisks is being produced. Thebus dropping a Comsat. Comsat's the natural and the main. He's moving up to the 9 o'clock base, but this attack force, if it gets intercepted, we'll see if the Mutalisks can find it. Certainly going to get wiped out. A single fire bat going to walk into the 9 o'clock location. Might get a drone there, but Phoebus has trouble. first. So moving this attack force out, using that single fire bat as a distractionary attack, that at least will keep the Mutalisks away from the main, which is going to give him some time to pro potentially build some defense. There's only a single sunken colony on the front. That would be... Actually, with reinforcements, might be decent, because basically what if Phoebus attempts to attack this and breach it, some Zerglings that are produced on the front line could defend it. But Masuchi not really capitalizing on the Mutalisk attack force that he has in the interim. Because Phoebus is basically skipped turrets in the midst of this. Just put that attack force out on the field to be a distraction. And he's not being, he's not having to pay for it at all. Third barracks going up. Starport's already there. He has just a single bunker. Now finally getting turrets down. But that was a lot of time where Mutalisks could have been harassing and getting an immense amount of damage. But because Thebus putting this marine medic threat and just keeping them out in the dark and Masuchi looking to engage and not find them, playing more defensively, he's not going to pay for it. Second Creep Colony being morphed. I'm not sure that they can breach this up the high ground, especially if the Mutalisks can get there in time. It looks like they're going to be just going to cycle straight through that first Sunk Colony. Certainly going to get wiped out. The Mutalisks were too far out of position to help with this defense. So this hatchery might get wiped out. Now Masuchi back. Two Mutalisks down, however, with that stim. And they are working on that hatchery. That hatchery looks like it is going to get picked off. Sunken Colony finishes. 208 health left. Three Marines remaining. And I take it back with a turnaround defense. Masuchi holds. Wiping out a Medic Marine Force. More Mutalisks now up in the air. Is he upgrading Weapons 1? Weapons 1 is just about to finish. No Weapons 1 for Thebus. He is opting instead for Armor 1. Getting f So going up to 5 racks. Trying to get a quick Science Vessel. So Masuchi has room. Plus, this is still very turret light out in the main. Marines getting picked off back here. This might be the game-ending moment, potentially. Another Mutalisk getting picked off with some micro and some reinforcements from the Mutalisks. Masuchi can get on the, this barracks line, just basically pick things off as they arrive. But a science vessel also in production. He just needs to ignore that natural expansion, pick off as much as he can. That science vessel going back to a protective position. I don't know that a radiate was researched. A lot of Marines getting picked off here. There's a bit of a defense force to try to prevent a turnaround, but a lot of damage done. More Marines being picked off. And if some Zerglings can get up here, this could be a game-ending moment. However, it looks like Masuchi continuing to drone behind this. The science vessel's looming. The Radiate is researching. So the clock is ticking for Masuchi. As soon as that Irradiate is ready, it could be a turnaround moment for Thebus. For right now, things looking ugly for Thebus. An overwhelming amount of Mulus overhead just devastating this Marine line. Still macroing behind this. Irradiate just about to finish. That Science Vessel needs to get picked off. Can the Mutalisks get that Science Vessel before the Irradiate drops? Ah, oh, the Irradiate lands! Just as that Science Vessel had a little bit of health. It looks like a pretty decent split, though. A second Science Vessel out in the air, but those Mutalisks got absolutely wiped in the meantime. And Masuchi pulling out. He's still at 30 drones. He hasn't grabbed that third gas as of yet. He's got that Queen's Nest network. He got a Hydalus Den 
in the midst of this. Also grabbing an evolution chamber. The mule's diving right back in, but they're very weak. Another radiate dropped, and I think that is going to be it for this mutalisk attack force. Oh, I feel like Masuchi had an opportunity to end that game with either some Zergling reinforcements or picking up the Science Vessel or uh, working on the Starport, but instead, I don't know, It just he had to do a lot. He had to play that precisely and perfectly. Regardless, now at 26 drones, a flurry of commsats dropped at the Natural and the Main seized the three Sunken Colonies. Masuchi not in the worst position, still... Phoebus could walk up, take a third base. More Mutalists dedicated in the midst of this. And there's potentially an Irradiate in the wings, but the Science Vessel don't look like they have enough energy to drop it. So that Medic Marine Force getting wiped out. Phoebus still staying ahead in supply. Way ahead in workers. Building a second Starport. The Marines getting re-engaged here. The Science Vessels, as soon as there's an Irradiate, that again could wipe out a lot of these troops. And I'm not sure that was the best economic exchange for Masuchi, potentially. There's the additional re Irradiate, just relying on the fact that he can split rapidly. Did a pretty decent split, but now he's down to basically five Mulesks in the background. I'm just shocked that Phoebus didn't fold in the midst of a lot of this. Another Marine getting picked off. Are we going to see even more Mutal... Okay, finally some Zerglings and Lurkers being produced on the front. Carapace upgrade. Hive... Two-thirds finished. Masuchi not in the worst position, but his economy is still sitting at 28 drones across three bases. Supply-wise, he's not ahead, but he is moving up a lot of Lurkers, a lot of Zerglings, to potentially go for game-ending blow. He's got to do this in the midst of a lot of detection. Another Radiate drop looks like on some Zerglings as well, and it just felt like Masuchi donated some additional troops to this front. But more Lurkers, more Zerglings making their way forward. Level 1 armor is there. Lurker up top getting wiped out. The Zerglings trying to dive into this line to get some damage done. And yeah, more Lurkers quickly getting cleaned up by Phoebus. Some Overlords look like they're going to get picked off. No, the Zerglings, they're in time to defend. Yeah, that wasn't quite enough mass to punch through. And the Micro... Wasn't quite there to cause Thebus to falter. Thebus now with a significant supply lead. Still backed up to his natural expansion, but he's humming on six barracks and two starports. Heavy medic marines, some scourge in the air to potentially pick off those science vessels, but there's three science vessels looming with growing energy. Comps adding, seeing the lurker count, seeing the zergling count. Another radiate drop. Scourge lands one shot. Phoebus is pecking away at this back corner. Adrenal upgrade a little bit of ways away. One science vessel getting picked off. The Zerglings trying to filter through to land another. Another one at least takes a hit. Was that a spread hit on two? It looks like another one got taken out. Six kills on that science vessel already. And a small attack force on the front for Masuchi that looks like it's going to get pushed back. Phoebus now marching with a lot of medic marines. I think he can definitely threaten that nine o'clock base. The Lurker's trying to sneak in behind this. Getting a Marine for a Lurker, which is not a great trade. The Zergling's trying to filter through. And the SCV's kind of checking the corner. I wonder if he's going to build a uh, hidden base in the upper left or just make sure that there was an additional fourth expansion. Ultralist Cavern being built. Defiler Mound is there. The Zergling's being pushed back towards that 9 o'clock. I don't know that a Defiler's going to be in time to defend the 9 o'clock. In the meantime, Masucci's sitting at 42 supply compared to 108 from Phoebus. Phoebus sitting outside the 9 o'clock base. A single Lurker Egg trying to blockade the way. Not very well saturated. Marines marching up straight through to just power down that hatchery. And the hatchery is gone. The drone's now trying to distance mine that gas back to the main. It is now 2 base versus 2 base. Masuchi at 24 drones. And Thebus with a commanding supply lead. Masuchi calling GG right there. Thebus is the BSL Season 13 Hasso League Champion. Which is deserved. Good luck to Thebus next season.
or sorry, good luck to Masucci next season. Crazy one to, to close it out, but I would not be shocked to see Phoebus up in Gosu League next season. He played incredibly well. So from here on, I'm going to try to do some Fighting Spirit Mania. If there's any other stuff you guys want to see, let me know. But congratulations to Thebus. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me for this season of Hasu League. Uh, next season, depending on how things work out, maybe I'll be able to do both Hasu League and Shovel League again. I would like that. Thank you for listening.